friends and family, ignore this. This is how I've been looking for a couple of weeks now, ever since quarantine, and moved to Portland, back to Oregon. I do feel a lot better being here in Oregon. It's a lot more relaxing. It's nice to get a new change of environment from San Jose. It's like 11 o'clock. I'm gonna go start making lunch for Vare and I. So yeah, I hope you've been enjoying our old footage. But yeah, other updates is, you know, we got engaged. We're technically married. We haven't had our like reception or like full ceremony yet. And that'll happen after we buy our house, which hopefully in a year, I'm max two years. But yeah, we moved into this beautiful town home. I wanna show you guys in a minute, but first I'm just gonna do a quick vacuum around the house and then wipe down our countertops and stuff. I'm gonna start doing that before I make some lunch. And I think Veravit requested for some tacos. This is how it's like being a housewife now. So I was able to clean a good amount of stuff, but not everything that I wanted, just because I want to get started on lunch. Because I only have like 25 minutes before Veravit gets off of his meeting. I think I'm gonna make tofu tacos. So I'm gonna use this tofu. Let's just start making it. I know a lot of people don't like tofu, but honestly, tofu has no taste. When you eat tofu, it's actually the brine that you're tasting. Whenever you use tofu, I highly recommend like super washing it like a lot. As long as you give it a good rinse and a good like ring, like ring it out, you know, it tastes pretty good. Look who it is. It's me. That's usually cute small ones. Street tacos. Street taco. Here's how the tofu looks like. Very crumbly, very delicious. I'm gonna have this as my like hot sauce topping or whatever. The Trader Joe's sauce. I have such a list right now. Trader Joe's papita salsa. I'm gonna have the Trader Joe's spicy pico de gallo lettuce from a Hawa cult market. It's not a cult. It is, but they have good lettuce. They do. Your lettuce is really good. Trader Joe's tomatoes. Got a fresh tomato and pico tomato. These are our vegan tacos. Let me show mine too. Taco. Though. It's so colorful. It's mine. Coriander. He's been really into saying coriander. Do you want more cilantro? Sure. Coriander. Yeah, so we're gonna enjoy this. What's up everyone? What's going on? There's Lynn. I guess today we're bored, quarantined. I'm off work now, so we're just gonna give you a quick messy tour of our new townhome that we've been here for about a month now. Let's go downstairs to the front. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Well, this is the front door. We have a little nail slot. It kind of creeps me out. I kind of want to plug it up. Sorry, I gotta watch you. This is the <laughs> front door area. This is where we hang up coats and like everything that we need to go out with. And then we keep all of our like essentials like masks and like mail key in there. This is usually in there. I don't know what that's doing out. But yeah, like hand sanitizer, we, we put it all in there. And here's our little shoe shelf. It's more wet over here. We always make sure that we wipe Icy when she gets in the house. And, That's why there's a bunch of wipes there. And just germs, but anyways here. In general, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to the garage. Come in. Okay. So, it's kind of tight in here because it's a really narrow two-car garage. But I'll show you around first. Here's Barry's car and then there's my car. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we just got these new shoe shelves if you want to show um, our friends. We have too many, but it's okay. Bear has more shoes than I do. <laughs> and here's Icy, but here, let's go back here. So it's really nice because we also have our own laundry area. We put all of our tools and our camping stuff here. Try to make it as organized as possible. And then here is where we're thinking about getting kayaks. And mm -hmm. um, we can hang up our kayaks or our bikes up here. Yep. Um, and I left this part empty because uh, we're getting a bunch of our engagement party stuff and we're gonna be putting it here just until we have our wedding. So that's our garage. But you could look at all of our shoes because he has too many. It looks tight, but it's way more spacious for some reason. When I first got here, I was like, damn, this garage is, is way small, but, but we were able to get two cars and still have more space for, for other storage too. Yeah, come on, Icy. And so we're in that front area again. Yeah. I wanna make this in into like a reading nook. Very bit can barely fit on, but I fit on pretty perfectly. 
and I wanted to like have some seat cushions here. I see also likes to sit here too, so you can read because I put like a little library in all of our books here. Not all of our books, but most of them. Um, we don't really read, but you know, in case we wanted to, um, that's a good option. And then this is our main floor. As you saw earlier, kind of little bits of it when we we're uh, cleaning and making lunch, but. Of course, we just moved in like a month ago and everything's closed so we can't go shopping for stuff and everything online isn't really available and it'll take forever to ship. But this is like the living room area. This is like the best couch we've ever bought. And we got it online. Yep. I forgot from where, but it was the kind, of, kind of expensive. <laughs> but it's really comfortable and I made sure that it's not made out of down, which is nice. And this is Icy's new dog bed thing. And it's good because you could take it camping or have her sit outside with it. But this is our yard. It's a really nice day. Green onions. So this is my pride and joy right here. This is the tomato plant. It's a, the gold nugget cherry tomatoes. So since we've got bought it, it's grown about six inches so far. And it's only been like two and a half weeks. So it's making some pretty good progress. I want to harvest this real soon because I love tomatoes. Next is, icy. is the jalapeno which is gonna be super awesome, it's gonna be fire. The, the flowers are, are sprouting already, so you can tell it's doing well. So I really hope it's spicy. Next to it, same same type of deal, it's the hot cayenne one. It's growing as well, so this is supposed to be more spicy. So we'll see how that goes. So I, ho I hope that it can match my Thai chilies. So this is the only one that's struggling a bit. This is thyme, bye-bye. Um, Honestly, it's kind of crusting a bit, but- Bad times. Yeah, bad times. <laughs> And then we got dill. This is this grew a lot too significantly, I'd say. This one's sage, I don't know. Sage is just kind of chilling. And then the two basils, before they're actually spaced out, they weren't touching it, but now now they're they're expanding, so they're touching. I'm really impressed with the Thai basil. So yeah, so we're back in the living room. This is, you know, our couch, and then this is a really cool coffee table. It like, let me get this, it lifts up. Mm -hmm. So I'm really lazy. There's a bunch of crap in there, as you can tell. <laughs> Um, but sometimes I get a little lazy or I want to use my laptop. Um, so it, it's like perfect like like height. And it yeah. doesn't like make my neck or my back hurt or whatever. It's because, pretty cool. Yeah, so it's really awesome. I really like it. And I really like this um, TV stand too. It's huge. But it makes me want to buy a bigger TV. Um, yeah, there's more mail junk here because I don't know where to put anything yet. But yeah, this is a, a really cool cabinet. It has all of... As uh, my nephew's toys in there, so when they come, they can have it, and then a bunch of board games. And then I'll show you into this kitchen. Now, one um, side note yes, this is a PS3, okay? I never upgraded, I only play um, GTA and NCA 14. I know everyone's distracted, they're like, You don't have a 4 yet, bro? The 5's coming out. We'll get the 5 from there. Yeah. <laughs> See? But yeah, and then here is a little kitchen bar area, and these are cool bar stools. And then this is a kitchen. It's your normal kitchen. This is you know lunch from earlier, but I was still snacking on it and stuff, so I just kind of left it out. So yeah, tour fridge or tour for tour de fridge. Fridge tour. Yeah, this is all our stuff. It's not the clean. It's not like. The most organized, but at least it's like clean and there's nothing like moldy or old. Because mm. just moved in our magnets and stuff. And yeah, this is a freezer. All of our, oh, they, these are all Icy's dog food. And then our smoothie stuff. We don't have that much in the fridge or freezer. Just some basic stuff like that. And then this is like the dining room. This is the dining room area, but we haven't gotten a dining table yet. But we got a dining table rug. Mm -hmm. We're just waiting for it to come in, but this isn't, you know, organized at all, but it just works for now. And then these are, these look like they're dying, but it's because they are. Because <laughs> on the drive up, um, they kind of got crushed, so they'll yeah. come back to life, I hope. That was a, that was a sad one. They but these are doing fine. Yeah. There's those two that got, you know, yep. messed up. But yeah, this is, this will be the dining room. Right this here. Is, Icy's corner for now. This is where her crate goes and stuff like that. Also a good place to put this pad because when she runs down the stairs, it's like a good landing area. Cause she runs. She's big. Yeah. 
And she goes, she only runs down. She doesn't go like walk up. But I'll take you to the third floor. Come follow me. Oh, stairs. I see beat me. My sure. eyes are this, both, there's two rooms and two bathrooms up here, but both are the same size pretty much. It's a lot smaller than what we had in San Jose. This is a really tiny closet, but it's like, it, you can't get it's to deep, it. It's so it's, weird. Yeah, it's a pain in the, the butt though. This is one we considered the master because it had a bathroom attached to it. Here are my um, Joanna Gaines curtains. Oh, and this, I installed these. I got these from Amazon and they were only like $12 and they stick on and they've been actually lasting pretty well. So I really like them. Yeah, we have them throughout the house. Yeah, so I'm gonna let Verovit show you our guest area or his office. Oh, oh wait, the closet first. Yeah. This is a um, storage closet. This is my favorite closet because it has the toilet paper. It's tucked away too. This is the guest bathroom. No bathtub, but I like it better to be honest with you. I wish I had this one. Here's a broken candle that I've refused to throw away because it was expensive and it also smells really good. It does, yeah. It's the happiness aromatherapy one from Bath and Body Works. Yeah, and here's the uh, shower. Things here again. My shower. This is the guest room in progress, but mainly serving as my home office right now. Uh, so yes, this is this is where I, my desk, which is I'm very proud of this purchase. It was from Costco. Always wanted a standing desk because I work from home most of the time. So now I have it. It shows that I'm a grown big boy. So look, it's going up. I, I spend about an hour standing, maybe a few hours sitting down, doing some good work. So this is my thesis, I'm trying to get that shit out of the way, but yeah, all the work stuff go, goes on here. Over here, tucked away, is a little hidden closet, small closet. Ideally, this is gonna be where the guests would store all their stuff. For a baby. Or for, yeah, for, for a baby as well. But right now, it's serving as Icy's like third or fourth or fifth or sixth little hangout spot. So we just leave that up for our checks to, to be in there sometimes. I see a good spot. Yeah. You like a spot. You like a spot, huh? Yeah, see, she likes to feel tall. Other than that, um, you can ignore this corner because that's just like school work stuff that I'm trying to follow up and get rid of. Printer, Xfinity Wi-Fi. This oh. is very bit second closet. Yeah, this is host my on my desk gear. Future future duck NBA right here. So I have a lot of cool stuff from jerseys and all that. So we'll, we'll take trips to Eugene, go watch the Ducks play basketball, football, all that good stuff. Um, I mean, other than that, this right side is mainly for me. We keep some other old school stuff, old graduation shit, all stored up down there. This is just miscellaneous to be honest. So we have like documents here. Um, old paperwork, stuff like that, that we just kind of stored away. It's nice to have extra storage as well, but ideally what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to have the bed right here, uh, which we're getting pretty soon, just so the guests can sleep in here. Tidy it yeah, up Yeah, like a, a full bed or something? Yeah. Okay. But I think that's everything. I think we got everything for the most part. Sloppy tour, but once you come visit, you'll get to- Hopefully the house will hopefully be organized. Will be empty, but yeah. to be honest, we're only gonna be here for like a year anyways. Yeah, so when you visit, when this place will be COVID free, I promise you. Yeah, so we don't want to do too much decorating here. Look at the icing in the back. I actually like not decorating. I like yeah, it. I, I like it kind of empty, but we're trying not to decorate so much because we're saving up for our house. And we're only going to be here for a year, two years max, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the next goal in life. She's goals. She has the best life. Reloading. Yep. <laughs> Bye.